Introduction to Soft Tissue Mobilization One of over 100 CEU programs and 650 contact hours available from Clinician's View. For free previews and course details, visit us at www.clinicians-view.com. Clinician's View presents Introduction to Soft Tissue Mobilization for the Upper and Lower Body Presented by Claudia Zenesak Assisted by Barbara Bauer What we did when we looked at the forearm was I said you want to go side to side, up and down, and then diagonals. If it's easier for you to picture a clock in doing that, 12 to 6, 3 to 9, and so on and so forth, then use that as your visual. Then you want to come back and you want to look at latissimus dorsi. All right? Latissimus dorsi, we said, is going to come up like this. So I know if I check right there, I'm on latissimus dorsi. Now I'm going to follow it up so that I can get a roll of skin between my fingers. So it's going to be like this. It's this motion. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, so that's the plantar surface of the foot. Now we want to take this one step further. I've shown you gastroc soleus, posterior compartment by going deeper. Um, we've done up right in the popliteal fossa where we've done um, popliteus primarily and the origins of those muscles that are in the posterior compartment. Before I change her position, I want to show you just a release around the medial malleolus. I'm then trying just to set up that oscillation. And it's mostly just this. It's not, I'm not using a lot of energy to do it. Now, I move it over and I keep it over there and I check. Springy. Not as springy. On someone that's had a stroke where they may have developed some real tightness in the thumb web, um, which would be the adductor pollicis, okay? Um, there are two heads to it. There's a oblique head, which comes up this way, and then a transverse head that comes in here. So if I want to treat that, I would first, because their thumb is usually over like this. So I'm going to come on the thenar eminence, and I'm going to use sustained pressure. I'm going to push hard but it's a meaty area. And I'm going to roll them out. I want to take this entire part here and roll it out. I don't want to do it from here. I don't want to pull here to get them out. I want to support these joints and bring it out, but at the same time, firm pressure down into the muscle bellies of the theme. Terry's major is going to be coming up here, coming off the lateral border of the scapula, right? Coming up to the humerus. It's going to go underneath the humerus and come toward the, the lesser um, tubercle on the humerus. Latissimus dorsi was down here doing this. I can also move her up and try and get right around the edge of the acromion process. Okay, any questions on that? <laughs> You're good? Good to go. The muscle bellies are going to be I'm going to pull her out, I'm going to find the edge, then I'm going to slip down into the costal border, costal surface. We already know about Terry's major here, Terry's minor, I'm going to get at the insertion or off of the lateral border of the scapula. 
I'm going to take her arm over like this. To find this course, go to clinicians-view.com. Click on CEU Courses. Scroll down to the seminar title. Click on Preview for an extended preview. Click on Details for course description and learning outcomes. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See us on Google Plus and other social media outlets. Clinicians View www.clinicians-view.com